the first thing we need to discuss is staying organized. Down here where it says albums, we're going to click on this plus sign and we want to create a folder and we want to name that folder intro. This will be our intro photo assignment. And then within that folder, we're going to create two albums. Add albums. Hit the plus sign, create new. We have our photo shoot. And our photo edit. There we go. I'm going to click the home button. So let's go into the camera. In the bottom right corner, press the camera icon. And here we have the screen. So let's start in the top left. We'll work our way to the right and then go to the bottom. First thing we have is the flash icon. There is no LED flash on the other side, so it's automatically off. If you flip it to the front facing, you can turn it on or off, but generally we want to leave it off. Then right here where it says JPEG, if our iPads were capable, we'd be able to switch it to shooting a DNG file. We have the button here to flip the camera around so it's front facing. Then we have these three dots right here. And this pulls up a different menu. First, we have our aspect ratio. We can change that here, but we're gonna leave it at four to three and any change to the aspect we wanna make, we can do inside of our edit. We have a timer, two seconds, five seconds, 10 seconds. We'll just leave it off. Then we have grid and level to help us with our composition. You can turn it off so it's out of the way. We also have this one here that splits the screen into four squares and this, is the one we want to use. This is what gives us our rule of thirds. And we have a level. And you can see that in the center of the screen there, when I have it level, it turns yellow. So now I know I am shooting that photo level. And that's just to help. Our rule of thirds grid, those lines there, can also help you ensure that the photo is level. This triangle here will show highlight clipping. So what that means is, if I go down here to my shutter speed, you can see I get these zebra stripes. These zebra stripes are telling me that all of those areas are overexposed and that I need to do something to bring it back in. And the gear here allows us to go into settings where we can turn geotag for photos on or off and max screen brightness. You generally want your screen to be as bright as possible when shooting photos with your iPad. Now let's go down here to the bottom left corner. We need to ensure that we are on professional and not automatic. Now here where it says SEC seconds, we can control our shutter speed. A slower shutter will have more motion blur and be brighter. A faster shutter speed will freeze the motion and we'll make the photo darker. We can also manually control our ISO, which is the sensitivity of the sensor to light. And we generally want that number to be as low as possible. But you can see here, it makes the photo brighter or darker. We can control our white balance. I am outside and in the sun, so I'll choose that option. I can also choose auto white balance. Uh, please experiment with it, use different settings for different things and see what sort of results you get. And we can control our focus. And with this, we get this really neat thing called focus peaking. And these areas showing up in green highlight uh, are pretty much the areas that are gonna be in focus in the photo. When it's in auto, you can tap an area, but right now I have it uh, in manual controls. When it's set to auto and your exposure is also set to auto, you can tap an area and it will focus on the area that you tapped. And finally, we can reset all of those things right here. And here it is back in auto. If I tap here on Mount Rainier, it will expose and focus uh, automatically. 
We don't want to use auto though. We want to shoot professionally. Uh, we want to shoot everything manually as much as possible. So I'll take my shutter speed, move it off of auto, and I can see I have clipping with those zebra lines here. So I'll back it off until I don't have any more zebras. I'll go to my ISO and make sure that it is as low as possible. I'll go to my white balance and set it for the conditions that I am in. And I'll go into focus and manually focus. And in this photo, I pretty much want everything to be in focus. And I'll go ahead and take the photo. We generally want our photos to look a little more interesting. You can zoom in, but with this iPad, the image tends to fall apart as you zoom in. So I really do not recommend using the zoom feature at all. Instead, move. Move your body, get closer to your subject. Also, I'm shooting at eye level right now, and we see the world from eye level all day, every day. And it's generally more interesting to switch that up a little bit. So change the angle or your perspective by simply getting lower to the ground. Or try to get somewhere where you can uh, move a lot higher above your subject. You can also place items in front of the camera close to the lens that may help it um, be a little more interesting and give it a sense of depth. So right now I'm going to go take 15 different photos for my intro photo shoot and then we'll jump back into Lightroom. finished shooting my photos, now it's time to go into Lightroom and show you what else you have to do in order to turn in this assignment. So let's go into our iPads. We're going to go to Lightroom. I'm going to tap all photos. And here I can see all of the photos that I've taken as well as the folder with the albums inside of it in the bottom left. I'm going to tap the three dots in the top right corner, and I'm going to click Select. And I'm going to go through these photos and find the ones that I know I want to delete right away. So it looks like this one. And I'll tap delete and tap delete again. I'm going to hit those three dots again in the top right corner and select. And I'm going to select all of these photos here. And I'm going to click add to. And I want to add them to my intro photo shoot album.
Now I can see I have 19. As long as you have 15 or more, you're good. So at this point, you need to take a screenshot of the photos you took for your intro photo shoot. So you'll tap the power button and the home button, and that's gonna save to your camera roll. And that is what you'll turn in under intro photo shoot. Let's continue organizing our photos though. So I'll tap these three dots again in the top right corner. I'm gonna to go to view options, and I wanna make sure that I have it on flags and ratings and normal thumbnails. I'll go back. So now if I tap this first photo, it's gonna bring it to the editor. And I want to hit this star near the bottom right corner. And now I can assign a star rating to each photo. And I'm going to use five stars to be the ones that I think are best and the ones that I want to edit. One star for ones that I'll probably delete. And that'll be it for me. So this first one, I'll go ahead and give it five stars. Two one, two, two, and you're just going to go through doing this for each, each photo. Okay, now that I have those selections made, I'm going to click the arrow in the top left corner. I'm going to click those three dots again in the top right corner, and I'm going to go to segmentation. And I'm going to click star ratings. And now it's separated each of my photos by the star ratings that they have. And I can see I have two with five stars, four with four, five with three stars, six with two stars, and two with one star. And so at this point, I know that I definitely want to edit those top two. So I'll go ahead and add those into my photo edit folder. I'll click the three dots. I'll click select. I'll hit that check mark for rating five stars. And I'm going to move to the photo edit folder and move. So now they're no longer in my photo shoot folder. They are in my photo edit folder.